Hello everyone, welcome back to YouTube Akash channel. I am B and I am an art instructor at Artpad originally on Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, today we are going to show you how to draw in your painting landscape and we have a special guest today, Tiba Sen. I am a big fan of landscape and seascape painting like you guys. Uh, today we are going to draw and painting a uh, forest in autumn. Uh, painting is interesting activity. Uh, today we, uh, we're gonna do a uh, landscape painting. In order to successfully in drawing and painting, uh, you might have to be uh, practice. Uh, you can start from a uh, subject that you like or interesting. Uh, today's subject is really easy and beautiful. Uh, in autumn, uh, landscape painting, a large view of a mountain high and forested. In this video, I will guide you to do this process at the end of the lesson. We will have a completely beautiful painting. Uh, let's get started together. Uh, shading to the top view camera. Okay, we will let's get started together. Uh, welcome to uh, Facebook Atlas fan page. Uh, today we streaming in YouTube. Uh, if you haven't heard about our part, we are a large group of people who are interested in us. Today I listen really simply and the subject is forest. Are you ready to do? Let's get started. Uh, at first we preparing an equipment watercolor. At first we paint it on the, from the top of our paper. We will add a water as you see. He will send a uh, pure water to painting the sky. As you see, uh, pure water. And the uh, next step, we add a blue, a soft blue, to under layer. And say hello again to YouTube Atlas fan page. Today we streaming in a uh, YouTube platform. You can watching live or watching back. Uh, people send at a uh, purely a uh, water and people send at a um, blue salt blue. As you see. The paper is still wet and blended. I just like to thank the sponsor of today's video. That is all of you guys in YouTube and Facebook as part community. If you haven't heard about our channel before, as part is art lesson. This is here online a bit for both kids, youth and adults to, to keep one to one art lesson 24 a day, 70 days a week, and video on demand is available. And you can learn art from more than 100 lessons from anywhere of the world as long as you have stable internet connection. It's incredible, affordable way to learn art, must have cheaper than in offline in our Spot Academy. So many students message me and ask me how they can meet us in our Spot. Our Spot is a great option to practice art with you. And today I have a good news. Good news is our Spot channel we provide free, uh, yeah, free 100 hour lesson online during COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, this is free our lesson, right? Uh, let's get uh, on with our lesson today. It's beautiful landscape and easy for all and spending. So let's get started in basic. Now he uh, painting on the top as in the sky. He add blue and uh, a little bit of purple. And I'm going to say hello again. That is, uh, what's good, everyone? If you're just coming to our part live streaming, today's subject is beautiful landscape in watercolor painting. 
you can washing back or doing uh, with our You have smart to be prepared basic equipment that you have. In this video, people can use drawing paper, drawing pencil, painting brush, watercolor paper, and a little bit cup of water to cleaning and washing painting brush. I will be comfortable. Let's get started with paper sand and fusion to tie on the top of top wheel. As you see, he adds uh, a little bit of gray to make motion. Hey, say hi everyone. Today our lesson is very simply subject a beautiful landscape. If you painting a landscape, I uh, we we can on uh, the sky. We can from the top and to the bottom. Next step we add a. Uh, Gray, a little bit of gray to make mountain. The mountain and this demonstration, uh, I guess it's uh, on maybe near Rye River. Rye River is a beautiful land, has many a beautiful landscape atmosphere. In other, in other subject, I suggest uh, I couldn't to painting mountain horn. <laughs> a mountain horn may be in Switzerland. I didn't sure for this demonstration where the area got this uh, from a uh, free online uh, a photo. I will select it to make a demonstration. I will add this. Uh, some his personal style painting. As you see, he add a little bit of gray. If you have pattern have gray in your palette, you can add white and uh, pick a little bit of black to and blend it together. And as you see on the top view, he add a, a, a more a more blighten, more blighten gray. Usually we add three step, three step of uh, shading, uh, white uh, in blighten, and the middle, middle gray and dark gray. As you see on the top view. A uh, mountain he add a uh, middle gray at first, and next step he add brighten more brighten than uh, than at than the first. The process is add a little bit of white. I guess you use spread number eight, number eight or number seven. Yeah, this step is uh, middle gray. You can uh, mix uh, preparing a uh, soft gray, medium gray, and deeper darker. You can blend it or make it separate. As, as this depend on you. It's really like, and if you can, uh add more different type of gray you can you can use it maybe deeper darker or a little bit whiter the brighten color is uh depend on the the, the direct of uh, light just painting the light as come from behind the mountain you can see a limb right it's a wind light is a ring ring of light and uh, it's uh, when the light is shading Behind you, you can see a little bit uh, a whiten. Uh, as you see this, uh, this person he add a middle gray and a little bit deeper darker. 
and more brighten up in mid and gray. Thank you so much, people, and to uh, come in today to be our special guest. In efforts all like uh, during COVID-19, we provide free for all. Uh, if you stuck at home and you can watching us, uh, uh, we hope that our activity can make you relax and enjoy with us. As you see, he was saying, add a more brighten up. Uh, for kids and adults, you can uh, use white. And if you if you need a uh, gray, I suggest you add white at first. And after that, you uh, use a, a different brush. Another brush is not, not uh, not touch the white and also button and you brushes in black and blend it together yeah you, you, you might have two brush as you see people can have so many different try of brush and now this person he add a uh, medium gray and more whiten it's uh, if you start a slightly uh, white zone at first, it's made easier than you add uh, a dark zone. The shading is next step of the of this painting. A beautiful mountain. I use gray to make a uh, rock mountain. It's very easy step. We can paint in a landscape in many pictures. You can select uh, from uh, internet or you take your photo when you're traveling. Uh, now during COVID-19, I, I hope you have a healthy and I hope the situation will be improving in many countries. Uh, I pray for you all and um, hope you healthy and have enjoying with our activity uh, this step is more a little bit darker uh, people can add um, a little bit of blue or purple i'm not sure blue or purple uh, he, he added a green, add green too, to make a green in, in the bottom of, of painting, to make this hum more harmonized. And say hello and welcome. All. You use the same brush to, uh, to make a detail, add a detail to complete the mountain. It's still wet. Put a photo box down to show you what color he mixes. You will be preparing a two water cup of water to clean your part. And now he will play painting a tree under shading of the light, the light is coming from back maybe a sunset in this process he 
I'll add a dark brow. If you haven't has brow, you can add a yellow, red, and white and mix this together. Or you can select to use orange color, orange and mix this, mix this with black. If you use this watercolor palette, uh, I suggest you to uh, use a uh, burn sienna in the section and add more blue or use use burn number in this section. Very beautiful. It's very nice. As you see. Autumn leaves and see the mountain behind. We're painting from the behind to at the from the front. Painting behind at first. Very beautiful, clearly sky as you see. And I will go in to say hello again for everyone who is just coming uh, watching in live streaming today. Today's subject is beautiful landscape watercolor painting. I hope you will be comfortable. This subject is beautiful landscape painting in autumn and easy for our ears to painting. Hello everyone. Uh, this session he present at a uh, soft blue. Uh, you can blend with yellow, right? Make it brighten up and you you not blend is all area of your tree or uh, you can separate a uh, breakout of sky mountain and next step is a uh, brand new teas this session uh, you can add uh, yellow at first and uh, or you can uh, use to blend it yellow with mixes with our uh, orange and brows and next step you can add a dark brow with black as you see he use uh, the, the same brush the brush number eight or seven A bit of blacks. Uh, this color, uh, as you see on the top view, is the dark green. You may be see is uh, it's look like black, but it's not. It's the dark green. He blend red, orange, yellow, and dark green together. I hope this video will. Uh, we'll do uh, demonstration. We we'll hope we make you uh, see the way how to paint the landscape, the mountain. It's very beautiful subject. It's make you relaxing. Uh, if you have time to painting with us, uh, we will uh, we will provide uh, more than one hundred free our lesson online. You can watching on uh, video on demand or, or watching back. Are watching in live uh, in 3 p.m. in Thailand times. Maybe it's evening in if you are uh, watching in United States or another country in Western. In this, uh, your time is maybe in the evening. I say hello to good morning in Thailand. Uh, he add a little bit of, um, I'm not sure, maybe orange, orange blend with uh, brown. A 
this class gave me awesome. It's um most popular subject to practice. I suggest you to start at watercolor. A little bit of orange. As people say in church, <laughs> he wearing a, a light idea subject theme and an autumn t shirt. And now he blending uh, the painting up a leaf. Not green leaf, I'm, I could call it an autumn leaf. We have a di more different type of shading of autumn, as you see. I will close this box to make you see the watercolor, what it uses. And say hello again to everyone and thank you for tuning in I have a special guest today people sent to a uh, painting demonstration uh, of a uh, landscape painting watercolor on an autumn an autumn forest autumn Uh, today we are going to drawing and painting about forest and autumn. This painting subject is intrinsic activity. Today, uh, in order to successfully in painting, you must be practicing. Maybe start in the easy subject that you like or interesting. This is easy and fun to start together as you see people send me a uh, draft brow to make a mountain. Uh, I guess it's pine, pine forest in autumn. A pine forest in autumn. He add a uh, dark brown and branches with a little bit of blue, a dark blue to make it under deeper I share you up to sharing uh, your painting and comment box is under down below if you're watching on Facebook platform Thank you people so much for coming to special guest today. And now he add a little bit white and more is make more brighten up in mountain in the party. He knows painting is all uh, he separate or uh, skip as a brighten sun. And you see party in autumn is look like um a more brownie uh, and now this step and uh, we still painting in the behind and after that we painting in the front wheel I'm not sure that that's uh, the artist's call, maybe background and front brow. If you know the, the special word of the artist saying, you can type it type to me in the chat box and the down below. He add more bright sun in the mountain. 
a cost of to make use to make you see what color he uses. And this the people saying add more a little of a little bit of yellow or orange and blending on copper white to make the mountain top is brighten up and we not, we didn't use the brighten on the in dark areas to make the two mountains separated I really love from a uh, beautiful sky. The people send me it at, at first, as you see. He painted sky at first with clearly water. When it's still wet, he add a uh, soft blue and blend it together. And not blend is all not blend all area. He used uh, his splash. Uh, add blue in the area he want to make his blue and skip or separate a white zone to make to make a beautiful cloud and you see really nice curly sky you can be pairing a water color uh, before you painting preparing and if you make if you need to make a uh, different types of color you can blend it uh, suddenly when you uh, when you're painting now he make a detail make the detail of the top of the mountain and you see here add a little bit of white Blend it with a uh, gray, a little bit of white. I share myself to this area. <laughs> okay, it's better. He add a little bit of under a uh, uh, painting on the top of the mountain. Make a yes, deeper darker. You can uh, make a different type of shading. Maybe seven seven shading. I I suggest you to uh, use the seven level of shading and under deeper darker. In shading area, you add seven. I suggest, or, or maybe in three step, it may be easier than seven step. Now he add a brighten up, makes it brighten up in the area of pie tea. Painting landscape is very popular um, to make you relaxing with nature. As you see, we are painting uh, behind uh, at first and uh, make a sky and next step we make a mountain, top of the mountain is make is brighten and after that we keep blending a tree is autumn leaf uh, and next step we painting mountain let's make a little bit deeper darker as you see I'm not sure what the color uh, in your camera is not the same as the, the real painting. Now he add a little bit of green, dark green. If you haven't have a, a dark green in your palette, you can blend it with blue, a dark blue or black. Just depend on you. Or you can make a, another, another different color. I see many artists they use uh, another color it's not look realized. 
it's uh, you you can make a different type of your painting. There's uh, many different type of painting in your world. Yes, maybe a uh, realistic or uh, makes it more abstract, or you can capture the lights or are you painting in the uh, another uh, another type? Maybe impressionist style, they add a uh, maybe I guess is purple, add a purple or Van Gogh style. When we come to Paris, he add more yellow or brighten color to make his painting look brighten. Uh, when he going out to the the um, Polina painting, I I see he add more more purple and white or lilac um, in this demonstration we add a uh, dark green he blending with black or we, and dark blue as you see very beautiful landscape painting in autumn autumn is good uh, subject for demonstration as you see we going to another mountain he add a little bit of brown and mix with uh, mix it together with water. Now he used the same brush. <laughs> he used I ah oh, I see he changed brush to brush number eight because the area is, is larger, is big area than another. He used a little bit of green mixes with brown to make this look is realized. As you see, uh, he washing and cleaning his bars uh, and blend this with another color. If you're watching back from YouTube, you can uh, scrolling and see at the end what uh, see what if uh, the painting is look like, and you skip to do at the first and you can uh, follow following at the painting. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in. And uh, in this step, he add a green. I will see, and uh, I will see it's not green in monitor. Let me close this. Oh. Well, <laughs> I think I've been green skin and you see it look well. Okay. In this demonstration, we painting a mountain uh, near right rivers. Right river is one of major of uh, European river which has stars in Switzerland and forming a uh, mostly naughty dialect uh, through Germany and Netherlands. Empty into the North Sea. 
There you will be kings in Switzerland and the Sultan of Swiss Alps. I guess this Alp, Alp Mountain. Swiss Alp Mountain is from parts of Swiss to Orleans, yes. Switzerland, Swiss to German, and then the French go German border and go to the German right land. Uh, I'm so apologize just now, the power went out and sorry we will back to live streaming, broadcasting. Hello everyone. We will resume and uh, we'll be back to streaming again. And say hello for everyone and welcome back to YouTube Aka channel with me. Uh, I am B and P person and at instructor at Art Plus. We are originally in Bangkok, Thailand. I have a special guest today, P person. He will uh, be to the special guest to the demonstration of uh, to landscape painting today. Uh, we are a big fan of landscape and seascape painting too. Like you guys, if you like, you can thumb up our Charlie in this video. Okay, today we're going to drawing and painting a beautiful forest and autumn painting. Um, autumn painting is interesting activity. Today we're going to do, um, maybe I guess it's alpine, pine and the mountain, uh, almost beer. Uh, in Switzerland. In order to successfully in painting, you must be practicing, maybe starting with us. Uh, painting in landscape really easy subject. Uh, you can select the subject that you like or interesting to start your painting. Uh, in this demonstration, we're preparing a watercolor uh, or color that you, that you have. Uh, I use a one of paper color, a oh, uh, one of paper watercolor, and in this, and you can um blending or mix this color before before you start your painting. If you like another landscape or uh, picture demonstration, you can select it. In this demonstration, we use uh, uh we select uh. Uh, autumn, the feeling of autumn at uh, orange, green, and autumn leaf. You may be preparing uh, basic equipment that you have. In this video, I use drawing paper, pencils, uh, maybe pen if you have, a uh, printing brush, watercolor paper, and a little bit cup of water to washing washing in one cup and to cleaning your butt is one cup of water uh, uh, we'll be comfortable and let's get started together i encourage you to share your advert uh, in comment section down below if you're watching in facebook platform uh, if you're watching in YouTube platform, you can comment uh, or the suggestion subject as you want to uh, as to to painting. 
So I tried this community of people who love free in art. This community will supporting and share your art. I just like to thank the sponsor of today's video. This is all lovely guy in our class community. If you have been here about our professional before, our class is uh, our lesson as academy, uh, online database of uh, our we are online database is available for both of kids or youth and youth and adult. We give one to one a lesson online and offline too if you can come in to our studio 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and video on demand is available. We provide more hundred more one hundred hour lesson. You can uh thumb up to following us in YouTube. And you click on the video button and you can see more than 100 video or listen. You can learn free for all during COVID-19 from anywhere of the world as long as you can stable an uh, internet connection. It's incredible, affordable way to learn us. It's cheaper than offline tutor in our academy because it's free. So many different messages me how you can meet. You can meet us. Uh, you I will live streaming in 3 p.m. in Thailand. Maybe uh, 10, 10 a.m. <laughs> it's maybe 10 a.m. if you stay in Western area. I thought it was really good option to practice with you. 3% uh, is special good today. And thank you so much. Um, now we continue us to our painting. This sort is Alp Mountain. Alma, the Alp Mountain is maybe in Switzerland, I'm not sure Switzerland, Germany, Netherlands The top of mountain is 2009 meters above sea level, very high. The largest city, city on the right is Cologne in Germany. The right and Danube is far more in northern Highland, the far right. It's really biggest mountain in Europe. Uh, just now, electric uh, city is make this broadcasting device. We separate in two parts. Now we have to turn to steamy online.
and thank you for tuning uh, just now electric today uh, is playing the bars casting device uh, into two parts is separated and uh, now we gonna uh, tune in and we have your turn As you see, uh, in this step, you percent add more dagger deeper, a uh, green, he add black and dark green and blend it together to make a, 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 another mountain is make a look this deeper dagger. As you see, we painting behind. We, we, uh, at first, the, the subject in uh, in the area behind, such as uh, a sky, a mountain. And the final step, we will painting uh, autumn tree, pine tree, and the fun wheel. Now he add more green or lighten, more lighten up at green. And thank you so much for all you guys. In our class database is we provide more than 100 our lesson. Uh, you can learn this from anywhere of the world as long as you can stable. In this episode, we uh, use a, a select subject of our landscape painting. I hope you enjoy. We have special guests today. Atas, we provide free us card online. What I want hundreds uh, lesson at online to help uh, our family to affect us by COVID-19 during school shutdown. Uh, if you stay at home or stuck at home, or you can go to him to school, you can paint it with us. You can follow us from the Facebook fan page typing I type and you will uh, see this logo on the right as you see I uh, did different type of color uh, okay a few percent add more uh, shading uh, in the mountain zone Thank you for watching this video and tuning in to our Touch channel. We would like to invite you to join us for art activities, drawing and painting tutorial online at our Touch channel. Today, uh, our lesson we providing a landscape and autumn mountain demonstration. During COVID-19 pandemic, as part in Bangkok, Thailand, uh, we temporary courses from month 18 to uh, 30 July <laughs> or May June. I uh, um, apologize. Uh, we closed since March 18 to June. Uh, we will be opening up in on day one in July. 
During such a time, our team, me, uh, and people said we teach PS online for children, youth, and adults. Uh, on, and all people who stuck at home, uh, if you enjoy the painting with us, As you see, it looks uh, brighten. He added brighten stone, make a uh, more white. At first, uh, we keep painting in the middle gray, and after that, keep painting a uh, more white area. And after that, he added more uh, shading. A uh, deeper dagger zone, and now we ch turning back to uh, make it brighten up. As you see, this be our lesson, our lives. It has. Uh, is free for all that has been affected by COVID-19 pandemic and our school is locked down during which everyone stay at home and stuck at home for a long period of time an activity that helps children, youth and adults spend time to enjoy with us stay at home to stop the separate of uh, the pandemic we stay at home, painting with us, and make a social distancing. Um, I suggest you to wash your hands regularly with soap and water. Keep enough distancing and limit your physical social contact. In our school, we make a block to separate students uh, in, in our studio, wearing masks for public transportation. Learn from home is a good choice. Now in uh, in this section, he add a little bit of uh, yellow to make uh, the mountain a grass, a dry grass, as you see. He painted in the bottom of paper to make grass on the top of the mountain. It looks bright enough more than another area as you see. You will be preparing a different shape of yellow a more bright enough yellow, a little yellow, and shading yellow, you can add a black with yellow to make a little bit of green, or add brown to make it look deeper darker.
you see in the step, our pubescent edge a little bit more bright and green to make a fresh tree. In autumn, we have a different shading uh, of tree color. It's, uh, some tree or planting, some tree or some plant is dry, and some plant is still look fresh. This pie is still fresh. We use a uh, yellow at first. After that, we use a uh, deeper darker yellows and add more green and middle green and make the green is deeper. We we will add uh, blue or maybe um you can select to add brown to make it look deeper darker. And after that, in under shading, the shade uh, below, we add a brown, not much darker brow because it's in the front wheel. The broke out is maybe bright enough more than uh, you more than red brow. As you see now, we add another tree. At first, uh, we use the clearly water and add more yellow and bright and green. As you see in our palette, we add yellow uh, in the area that light is touching up. We touch up and light and now in chain areas in shadow area we add a green and darker green a middle green as you see the the dark a deeper darker he used a brow to make the shadow And thank you so much all you guys to tune in to watching and YouTube Archive channel. We would like to invite you to join us of our activity. Uh, we provide us more, way, more than 100 episodes. It's free for will for all listen online every day worldwide. Until we see COVID-19 situation improving, I probably will be back together and you can learn uh, for free 100 hour lesson uh, the basic uh, skills are uh, not, uh, not difficultly it's really easy for our as you can uh, painting with us together If you can possibly watch uh, we in real time as I type YouTube, uh, or you can possibly watch in real time as I type Facebook on 3 p.m. We're watching from back up video in YouTube at Chanel. And say hello again, everyone. Uh, in now, uh, in this session, we painting an uh, autumn tree. As you see, we uh, he add red and yellow to make an uh, autumn tree.
this picture looks very real and beautiful. Thank you so much, Ribesen, uh, to create a beautiful words this picture to inspire everyone. As you see, we will uh, we we will painting uh, the front brow mountain. We will add a yellow to make a a tree in autumn leaf. As you see, we add yellow and a little bit of green, yellow and a little bit of orange. We will not use purely yellow. Uh, as you see, we will send a yellow uh, blended with uh, another color, maybe um, yellow oak as you see, blend it together to make a yellow and a middle shade, and add white, add a little bit of white, and add a little, a little bit of white to make uh, the, first, uh, the first light yellow. Maybe you can start at the middle shade of color. I like people say in this step he used a middle shade of a yellow to make a dry a dry tree in autumn. Maybe dry a dry tree pine. Yeah, this is autumn pine color. Uh, he add a little bit of yellow and orange, make orange to meet the shade. It's look fresh. It's dry, but uh, when you painting, it's make it look it look fresh. Very beautiful painting today. Demonstration is autumn. Forest. It looks real and beautiful. Thank you so much, people, for to come into Swedish Guest today. I gave you an advice uh, when you train more often uh, until you you're openly uh, practicing you will be finally the better teacher
as you see to send at orange and red to make this uh, you, uh, this painting is look well it's three these three is a uh, dry has a dry leaf in dry leaf in autumn we we use uh, painting uh, we add red and orange together but we not blend it together and now we uh, add more uh, purple add purple blend it with uh, red and orange you will have the color this looks like this it's not it's not pure it's not purely purple he add a little bit of a uh, green to make a, the tree is look fresh now we gonna do a uh, the shading in the shadow, we add dark green. In dark green, we, we, he will add a blue, soft blue or dark blue and blend it. Now he add a yellow oil to make a, a dry grass in shadow shading. As you see this step, he add yellow to make it brighten up. In our area, the leaf is dry. In autumn, it has a uh, many uh, variety different shading, such as green, yellow, brown, a uh, blue, a uh, green, and a uh, different shading of green. Now he add a uh, more brightened up of leaf in the front view. If it has a uh, white of paper, uh, is uh, you can skip it and make it white. Uh, why is meaning lighted? It's nearly finishing. As you see, we has a clearly sky behind. On the next step is a gray of mountain uh, out. And the next step is pine tea and the shading of shadow. And the next step is a um, mountain. We add green and gray and dark green uh, under that below as you see. And next step in the front view, we use a more bright enough color and look refreshing. And variety of color, we use yellow and orange. Uh, preparing yellow to make the shading of yellow. I'm sorry, uh, we preparing uh, orange to make a shading of yellow as you see. Uh, yellow and the first step of lighten and the middle is uh, adding um, this yellow all together with with yellow and the shading of yellow we use um, orange as you see now this step is a uh, way deeper darker uh, uh, people can use um, Dark bow, he blends with black to make the shadow uh, of leaf. The autumn leaf is uh, some autumn leaf is um, not um, not in the shading of white. It's shadow area. You can uh, use a uh, black blending with the color that you uses. I have many different. Uh, I have many students they painting autumn in pink sky <laughs> uh, for this demonstration we look it's look clear uh, more than uh, um, more than another demonstration 
Thank you so much, Peterson, to come in today. As you see, this step, uh, I, I get this finally step is make a tree line of the tree. You can draw in with a free form or you washing from your picture demonstration. Now he shared the blood to number three or number four. But number three and number four are uh, if you have a if you have only brass, uh, if you have only one brass, uh, you make this a line to do um, a small line to make your tree is look well. Now he add a shadow of leaf. As you see, we make a lighten. We can make a lighten by uh, repainting the shading of shadow. I uh, in us this our uh, language we call a uh, direct and direct painting style. Direct painting is mean you you paint and uh, uh, as you see as not not touching up the light. In the painting, as people seem to do, is uh, you capture the light by your painting the, the shadow shading. As you see, this step, uh, he make this uh, more in important uh, in sufficiently uh, in the earlier in the front view. The subject is close to us. Is made more detail. The subject is kind. Uh, is subject is far from as a South mountain. Uh, we didn't make a lot of detail. If you make a lot of detail in all area of your painting, it's made your painting not uh, not have a distant distancing feeling. As you see, people send as a fresh a brown. Uh, if you use a uh, watercolor palette, you can add burn sienna uh, in this uh, in this session. As you see in the in the upper uh, painting, uh, when you capture the light, uh, he uh, select to use a burn amber and black. And at first, he he use a uh, yellow. At first, when it's dry, he coming back to painting in burn amber and. And next step, he used a uh, deeper darker, maybe add darker with black to make the tree. As you see, it has a lot of variety of color in autumn. As you see, uh, autumn is very beautiful and easy. Uh, subject to select your painting for to practice yourself to make your uh, painting skill this uh, approach your painting skill a uh, uh, product to improving your practice uh, your painting skill as you see this step people send add more yellow to make it freshing up you you must be sure this area is dry when it's dry, you can add another color. If it's still wet, then make us uh, make uh, the color new color as you add to blend it together. Add this big color to control. If you're waiting when it's dry, you add the color. If you have not up enough time, you can uh, paint in another area and wash and waiting for uh, this area when it's dry, you're coming back. As you see, people send an uh, orange to make a leaf is look cotton. It's autumn feeling, as you know, you feeling uh, when you close your eye and your uh, imagination about autumn, was color, your imagination at first, I guess it's orange, it's good choice. Uh, orange, red, and yellow. Uh, in this session, people send use a uh, a small brush, maybe number four or number three. 
as you see orange is make uh, you can be use your fresh cheek stay I guess this right a right side okay. we stuck in forest too but our forest is not autumn is uh, maybe in rainy and Thailand now is rainy season if uh, COVID-19 situation improving I invite you to come in to uh, Thailand it has a lot of uh, culture and beautiful sea and sunny uh, we invite you to come back and hope you're healthy I'm not really sure who was she again I see someone maybe my friends or another you can type in the bottom the down below as you see in this step uh, people can use a uh, more freshy uh, he has a uh, green fresh green uh, in this step uh, people can use a uh, small brush number three or number four to make this uh, a more detail uh, of uh, autumn tree and a fawn wheel uh, some people call foreground it means uh, the subject is close to us it's near to us and now he adds the white to make it brighten up was a uh, wish leave the touching light uh, you can add white uh, it's light is uh, the shading uh, for the behind to uh, in photographers slang they call ring lights <laughs> it's right ring uh, uh, if you uh, I take a photo of the ring and the light behind you can see the uh, maybe uh, I I know sure they call maybe an aura is aura and so far so good as you see uh, make it lighten up by at white it's key tone <laughs> if you make uh, if you want to make it brighter you add white it's easy step for beginners. I will I very encourage you to uh, share your picture uh, if you're watching in a uh, YouTube platform. Uh, you can add your uh, your picture that you're painting to the comment box or inbox to uh, me or Peterson to show you a painting how you're doing uh, and. What is what is going on? No matter what is beautiful and don't be afraid to make your relax and feeling good to painting. As you see next step, people send at a green, a dark green and at a tree with a black. I will say hello again to uh, everyone who watching. You uh, say hello to uh, people who watching in real time, and say hello to uh, people to watching back uh, and back our video. It's good well. And thank you people so much for coming today to make a demonstration of painting of autumn painting.
Awesome means very good subject uh, that you select to practice your uh, skill because it has a different type of color uh, such as a blue to make the sky and gray to make a mountain and green to make a mountain at and step up and as, as you see in this session, uh, people said add more different type of color and yellow, a red, and to, uh, to make a uh, autumn tree. He select to use a uh, yellow in the uh, to make the grass dry, a, a dry grass mean. And a little bit of purple to make a uh, uh, a tree with. Semi dry, and a short call, I semi dry, uh, or I dry and make a, a, a painting that looks fresh, a little bit of oil, it's nice, I can see. Purple is a good choice, because it's a middle color, you can add As you see, um, I would add a more deeper layer. A little bit deeper, but more of a blending finishing. In this session, we will spend a more deeper layer with green. Yes, I said green. In the first step, we add purple or gray with black or gray with blue. And when it's drying, we add deeper dark blue with dark green. I guess this is the secret skill. <laughs> the secret, right? I didn't know before we can add purple and deeper darker green. You can see like earlier that you're interesting to make the small detail, not all area, or you have a, uh, a more time uh, on that time you can add uh, detail in many different areas. Uh, for me, I uh, appreciate to uh, painting uh, some area in detail, not all, means not all of picture, uh, but some artists they painting uh, all, all of the all of his picture with detail and I think uh, you, you can skip something to make uh, some area just look uh, interesting it's very special technique a secret that no one told you. <laughs> If you like, you can thumb up. I really love this quiet. The secret that no one told you. <laughs> and now, a uh, decision people said add more green, a white green. A light and green, he add green and yellow, right? I'm not sure. Yeah.
very beautiful and look real awesome. I will stuck in the forest with some kids. Anyone can help me? The mission is uh, if people didn't finish, we can go in out. Going back from forest, we will stuck here <laughs> with some kids. It's so beautiful, really beautiful. You can do by yourself or you can do with us together. If you're finishing this, I encourage you to share your picture uh, to comment down below. Uh, sharing or inbox us or sharing uh, in the comment uh, in YouTube at us, uh, or Facebook at us fan page. Very beautiful. It's so very nice. You got some wisdom. I can say that. He will send me how to be being exhibit by uh, his exhibition in BAC Bangkok uh, Culture Center uh, in Bar Bangkok. Uh, in uh, many years, uh, if you coming back or if you have an occasion to come into Bangkok, uh, I in the time has his exhibit his ass. I invite you to join uh, his exhibition. Maybe in, uh, in the next year, in 2022. As you see in the under layer, he, he used purple. purple. Purple is a good choice to start uh, a deeper darker, but not deeper so much. Now we, now we are gonna do in Three area in the center of picture. Maybe the most important thing in this picture. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoying and uh, improve your art skill with us. He add more a little bit of white uh, in the shading that light is touching up. As you see, I'm not sure what color he used. <laughs> it looks like egg. I call creamy. It's creamy. It's, and this is secret technique again. No one told you. We have a lot of secret technique today. As you see, this look real. I get is maybe Switzerland or Germany. I think it's Switzerland. Not Germany, Switzerland, because ah. Uh, the sun behind our uh, Alp mountain, right? As you see, the sun behind behind Alp mountain. Uh, the point is we painting maybe in Switzerland. Hello from Switzerland. 
And now he at a deeper darker brows at a brow with black or if you need to make it look deeper so much you can add brow and a little bit of red and deep uh, and dark blue. If you use a watercolor palette, you can select a sepia and add with a, a dark blue that you have in your palette. Or you, or you select burn, burn sienna and add with dark blue or add a little bit of red and black to make this color. It's not purely black, as you see, it's not purely black, I said it again. You blend it, uh, the color as that you use and you painting together, it makes it look deeper or uh, to make this look light, it's, it's light black, but, not, but it's not black, as you see. And some people said, uh, ask me why why we use black because it's a special technique. And you see, people say make us uh, uh, the most interesting in painting the center of the picture. Uh, he painted tallest tree, maybe a pie maybe pie tree in autumn as you see pie tree and some kids is pie tree right some kids people send painting pie tree and the top of pie tree uh People said they didn't use only black, he adds a little bit of white to make this brighten up. As you see, in the center is more detail on the top of the tree. Embedding it, okay. As you see, he adds a little bit of white. It's our secret. We didn't tell anyone before. <laughs> To make it bright enough, uh, add more light or yellow. You can add yellow too, uh, or add white to make it more bright enough. But not purely white. I ha have ever been watching, uh, watching on television, and. Uh, the forest near Alpine is a sanctuary, has a lot of animal in this area. Has a lot of animal in uh, the, the sanctuary, such as um, a bird, many birds, many uh, many variety different type bird, uh, a beaver, beaver and some a fox. Essentially, it's near Bright River, and Bright River is a very long river in Europe, in Northern, uh, in Middle Europe. It look real, really nice. As you see, people can add a uh, black to make a, a tree as high and touching light. Sway. Uh, we have uh, another instructor coming and he said it's nearly to finishing I said yes uh, uh, most important thing uh, you see 
uh, different type of technique, a secret technique. Uh, people say they're providing us uh, to give us and thank you so much for coming today. Um, as you see, he uh, we will add um, a light and so on. I will repeat it again. At first, we start in sky. Uh, this, the subject is uh, in the behind, behind, and we painting it down below. As you see, we add. We painting a sky at first, and after that we add a mountain, a mountain with gray and three step of gray, white, medium, and shading, a dagger, and after that we turn it to make it bright. A wedding, wedding to is not wet, it is dry, and add more white. After that we painting a green in a mountain. I I said we we has two. Uh, one, two, three, four. We have four, four mountains uh, in this painting. Uh, no, painting number number one is uh, out. Uh, is out. Uh, is close to the sky. And mountain number two, we add gray and green together, and mix this together. Uh, and after that, we use uh, mountain number three, as you see in picture. Uh, we add a uh, greeny. Uh, it's the greenery and at uh, blending with blue and after that uh, the final mountain in the foreground we use a different cha different shading of autumn and now we add a uh, more whiten the pa uh, this this plant this tree is touching the light as you see it's so beautiful, absolutely yes, it's beautiful, I can tell you. Uh, if webcam camera is uh, distant from uh, the painting, it's, uh, when we're finishing, uh, I will take a picture to, to make you see more detail of uh, people's painting. As you see the step people saying add uh, the color is red and orange makers together to make a dry tree a dry plant to make a dark dry plant and to make a uh, he make a shading, shading of shadow. It look really nice. Absolutely yes, it's beautiful. We'll still use a pen, a um, small pen. A uh, uh, pardon. Uh, we still use a small brush. If you painting in another technique such as digital painting, you can a uh, painting following us in the same uh, in the same process. Painting behind at first, and the a subject is close to you. You are painting uh, at last. Last thing you painting the subject is close to you. To make this deeper dagger. Uh, in this palette, we use uh, four, just uh, four level of one color. If you have enough time, or you need to make your is difficulty in one color, you can use the seven colors. I has a uh, ever here. Uh, when Sam Van Gogh, he used only four, four shading in his painting. Uh, most he, his most uh, fab, uh, fabulous painting, uh, Sunflower, as you know, uh, he has many series of his sunflowers. Uh, the, I, I guess this one of most famous sunflower. His collection, his uh, installation in uh, Netherlands. Uh, in his Vancouver Museum, 
if you see uh the his um his sunflower he used just four level of shading in one color he used four yellow i said it again four yellow in one color it's uh it's basic skill but it's make your eyes like master crust uh, like like the masterpiece i can say it absolutely yes uh this painting is masterpiece because uh peter said he is an art instructor at art club and he is an instructor and and many the uh, university too uh if a uh, person student watching you can say hello <laughs> Um, so thank you so much to coming today a really, really special guest I hope um, I, I try to invite uh, many uh, people to uh, be a guest in our live streaming during COVID-19 pandemic uh, because it's charity uh, for all if you watching uh, anywhere of the world you can uh, type in uh, and down below where you come from where you here and watch your painting and uh, doing now i see many comments from different type of country and thank you so much to following following us um and and i so thank you for our sponsor uh we we, ha we hadn't any sponsor from from um company or any enterprise uh we has us sponsored by ourselves 50 percent is coming to join us it's very thank you so much for today and i i guess uh painting and all any any type of us just make make us our us our life is climb down uh you will we have um for anyone has a, a, any problem or really trapped life uh and then sure how to call uh to make them mention you mentioned claim down with us and water color is good choice uh, i can say the water color is good choice to that easy and um and everyone can do it um, it's easy for any age. Uh, I have a, a fan, Facebook fan page in different age. Uh, I have um, one student, he is 65. Yeah, correctly. He is, she is 65. She watching live and uh, she painting uh, together with us in live streaming. And now she she not painting. He uh she painted the the mouse and selling. Sell it. Uh, uh I asked her to. Uh, oh, Miss, yeah, I can buy your mouse. Are you painting mouse? Uh, she she said it's sold out. <laughs> Congratulations. In 100, uh, I said, I will say more than 100 lessons in our uh, YouTube uh, and in our class channel. We provide uh, many different types of paintings such as birds, uh, animals, uh, seascape, uh, and marine life. And today we paint in landscape. Um, in landscape uh, demonstration, uh, PP percent select in autumn and I agree with him uh, because it's, um, autumn really is very easy to painting and good uh, good idea to to make your art skill is, is improving because we use a different a variety of color as you see blue and the sky gray to the mountain and green and green and blue to the mountain number two and a variety color in autumn in a mountain with this call to us and now we will stop in the forest i really love this green screen it looks look real with 
you feel stuck in a forest with my bag some kids mr some kids some kids say hello to everyone hi as you see uh, Peter Sen is touching up the lighten on the green leaf and the dry leaf to uh, if you not clear if you not clear look in the, uh, in this uh, in webcam camera and uh, now this session people send add color of orange yeah correctly uh, only to make the suit look uh, more not more greenery is look like autumn and some tea is so far from here you can add yellow is but more not more lightened when you touch uh in the area you must be sure the color under layer is dry or semi dry to make uh, your your new color is still fresh and uh, you can still uh, it is still the the pigment is not mixed it together uh, with another has not dry as you see this session people then use a uh, deeper darker brow to make clear it's nearly finishing I think when we washing back in the next year I think it's more well many a lot of people watching in this video I guess at first we talk together uh, we, we just um, so recorded and at the sound I think I, 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 I think this if we has uh, people to description is make your uh, skill is improving now we uh, gonna do to uh, the front brow this color uh, is green and add a little bit of brown green and brown yes I like it green and brown not not use black absolutely yeah not use black I said this bag is finally really beautiful as you see he doesn't add more uh, shading tone uh, with green and add uh, more deeper darker shading Really beautiful. I think yes, we still we are in Switzerland. Can we going back to Bangkok? <laughs> and now this session, people saying add uh, green uh, to make a shading and detail of the plan. Plant is very close to us. Uh, has a more detail, more than the, the plant is far from us. As you see, if you add uh, a dark green, you wetting the the pepper dry. When pepper is dry, you can add the darker, deeper color. If it's still wet, it's may blend it together, like um, as you see in the sky the top of a uh, paper when the color uh, two color is still wet is when make uh, make it blend together it's used to uh, it's used to some technique as you like you blending 
something that need to make it together like you painting sky or river or water and now there's a another tree as you see people saying add green I suggest you add green and dark blue to make it look a little bit deeper darker if you use a uh, watercolor palette uh, to make a tree a fresh tea like this at first I suggest to use the sap green a uh, sap green you can add with uh, with lemon yellow uh, if you have uh, if you buy a color palette uh, from any company uh, they usually add two color of yellow uh, one color is look um, pure color uh, is called lemon yellow and another color of yellow is uh, cadmium yellow is look deep uh, looks more yellow if you painting plan or uh, autumn I suggest you use both of us but uh, in the in this in this tree uh, people send mix uh, lemon yellow and a uh, sap in together uh, and in the first or when it's dry, keep it in dry to make a more uh, sap green purely and when it's dry, he use a deeper darker, maybe a green version add with a, a deeper a deeper darker blue as you see, it's more, more real Okay, now uh, we are uh, starting to make a detail of, of the painting. Uh, I will capture the picture of this painting uh, uh, when we finishing. You can see more detail of the painting. Oh, we have a student who uh, here. <laughs> Come in, you can join him. Uh, you can come in. It's laughing. Okay, we have two special guests. <laughs> she will be shy to uh to find the camera. Um, we have a student, Nong Sudam, and. Uh, no Nobel, uh, you can come in here. Say hello to everyone. Hello. Say hello, everyone. Uh, today we're gonna drawing and painting in autumn. You can see, uh, people send painting as uh, nearly finishing. It's beautiful, for me. Yes, yes. You can introduce yourself. My name is Miss Kim. Wow, she has just turned out. Uh, so now we can say hi to your friend. <laughs> hi. And this is uh, what's your name? You can you introduce yourself? My name is Nobel. Uh, so, uh, uh, she is Nobel, but uh, but uh, uh, then she uh, she is our student in as part academy. Uh, today she finished her class and and she I invite invite her to uh, join us in Kiva Sen painting autumn forest. You need to see here. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> she said absolutely beautiful. Ah, oh, beautiful. It's nearly finished. Oh, wow. Yeah, so, so lovely. Uh, as you see in the uh, in this session, uh, people send at uh, shading. He use a uh, uh, shading of glass. He's like use a uh, not much deeper darker blue. He has uh, if you if you use water palette watercolor palette, you can see like uh, yellow oak to this uh, session. Maybe you add purple or add more green with uh, yellow oak to this session. 
to, to make a detail of the glass. But autumn is really a good subject to select to practice, to practice your your art skills. Good, right? Good, <laughs> And even this here for me now. But this here is my very dear one. Okay. Say goodbye. Bye. Maybe you may find you there. I do see this session uh, is um, nearly to finishing. Thank you, Stan so much and thank you Nobel to joining us in this video thank you so keep to really beautiful painting today the ball station uh, in another time, we will uh, painting in uh, I don't know, different type of landscape painting, maybe an, an, a green field with high mountain. <laughs> but at first, I suggest you 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 are uh, used to make painting in autumn is easier than you uh, add more uh, green in your painting. In in another time, uh, me and people send you, we will uh, make a video demonstration uh, to you, and I will say thank you for all you guys to tune in. In this session, people send us um, a little bit of a uh, more deeper, more more shading of yellow to make grass. You can see a different grass in this green in the greenery, and uh, in this uh, in in this video, uh, in this uh, demonstration, it look yellow, and some part is still greenery to make it look fresh, look real, and more interesting. And you see when uh, the shading. A deeper shading, dry. He add uh, some uh, color is more light enough. I look fresh, and you make sure the color, uh, the dry, uh, the the dark color is dry. Uh, if if it's not dry, and make your your new color blend it together. This really top secret that no one told you. <laughs> You see, uh, uh, people send us at um, fresh green. In this session, he add a uh, green with white and yellow to make it look fresh, look real. It's nearly crossy finishing. Add more lighting up. Um, as you see, this uh, this color is not not purely white. As you see, it's green. A uh, green add with a uh, bright and or, or light with with white. As you see. Pending in the area, the light is touching. This picture, uh, this picture light is come from behind. As you see, the we we has a green light, the light in 
is cover uh, cover on the dream of the subject as you see it's not direct direct light uh, as another painting that we that's uh, uh, that we painting before uh, people seem to like the painting as light as uh, as in the direct indirect style Now he add a more detail, a little bit more detail in, in the um, leaf. Make a small lighten up. You can thumb up if you enjoy this video and thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, today is uh, day 93 that our school is locked down uh, and uh, our government just said to uh, allow, allow it uh, to open the studio this is today is the first day all our student is coming back and people sent to All of us stuck stuck at home. I think is, uh, if you uh, stay abroad uh, or you stay in United States or you uh, if you stuck at home, I hope uh, this video can make you enjoying to painting with us. We stay in Thailand and I painting and we painting uh, the landscape of our uh, Europe. And if you stay in United States, maybe as uh, Dakota, South Dakota. <laughs> if you stay in South Dakota, you may be uh, painting some wolf. I will see a many documentary about the uh, land, landscape is, is look uh, nearly as like an elk in Switzerland. I guess this top of a mountain is mountain horn, a horse that I have never been here there before. The yellow is a secret of uh, painting. Uh, when if you painting autumn, you can add more yellow and you preparing yellow and, and different shades of yellow, uh, such as uh, purely yellow and yellow with white, yellow with orange. You may blend it together. In this demonstration, we just do only four level. If you have enough time or you have a uh, uh, a more more palette uh, you can uh, make a seven shading seven or ten to to make it uh, your easier to select your painting uh, for starter and uh, for the beginners uh, I suggest for four level or three level light a sh middle shade and shadow a uh, three level is enough uh, for uh, this demonstration, people say he used a four color uh, because he is professional artist in uh, in in his career. He would make a he can blend it another color without any palette. As you see, um, we can show how many different type of color, uh, different shading of color in this picture. As you see. Um, I guess the key tone is yellow and key tone is uh, gray. Um, if you're painting autumn, uh, the, you can add um, 
more purple. I have many students that painting autumn with purple. It's make uh, the paintings look fresh, look real, and it's more interesting. And delicacy to finishing. Uh, in the top of the painting are uh, the colors is touching up the light of leaf, uh, autumn leaf. But uh, people say select to painting pink. Yes, I said pink. Uh, if you see in closely, uh, you will see a pink to touching the light, light up uh, in leaf and the shadow shape. Uh, how I says, um, if you has orange, uh, I said orange, and the shadow of orange, what you what you can do, you can select a uh, brow to make the shadow of orange. If you don't don't need to make is deeper like brow, you can use uh, another another shading, uh, the uh, the differently of a uh, yellow in color white is purple. Correctly, I have a color white. I will buy this. It's nearly finished. Oh, I said I had it. If you have a uh, orange, if the shadow, uh, orange. If you need to make this look deeper, darker, you add black. For this technique, that people say use, he didn't use uh, add black. He add uh, purple and not deeper to blue purple. Just using this. It's costly to nearly to call is pink as you see and the center three delicacy to finishing it's too like we are in Switzerland Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Yeah, this is this totally finishing. And thank you so much, people, for to coming uh, to join us uh, today. Uh, if you have any question uh, to ask, uh, you can comment in the chat box down below. And thank you so much, people, for to uh, coming in. I will uh, show a bit more detail and closer. As you see, as I said, he used pink. That was very top secret of the spending today. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, and another time, we've been waiting uh, what we drawing or painting in the next time. Uh, stay in and do it in your time. I'll, I'll comment any your suggestion. Uh, and thank you so much today. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.